Hello everyone, Jackie Edwards here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome. I want to talk today about how to know if rent to rent is right for you because it isn't right for everyone. Now, so often we can get so excited about, you know, whether it's rent to rent or a different property investing strategy or a different business strategy. We can get so excited about these things because we hear, you know, somebody else talk about it that's been super, super successful. And I had this problem in the very beginning. So I went to the, the property networking meetings where they have a speaker, two speakers every month, and they're talking about their specific property strategy and how it worked so well for them and how they did such an amazing job and had amazing success. And in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, that's so great. I'm gonna do that strategy. And then the next month I'd be like, no, I'm gonna do that strategy. And the next month I'd be like, let's do that strategy. Oh, they're all so wonderful. And suddenly six months went by and I had been trying to do all the strategies and none of them worked and I was frazzled and I was burnt out and I didn't know what was going on. I want you to avoid that. I want you to make sure you're picking the right strategy for you. And how you do that is by really understanding what your goals are. So I'm gonna use rent to rent as, rent to rent as an example because that is where my specialty is for property investing. That is how I built my business. And um, I do have other strategies that I use. I own properties and we've done other things now as well. But rent to rent is how I got started. And how I knew that rent to rent was the right strategy for me is because rent to rent is for cash flow. So if you need monthly cash flow right now, like ASAP, rent to rent is a really good strategy for you to look at. Because with your, depending on the situation of the landlord, you can be up and running once you find a property within days or weeks and start getting cash in the door. Whereas when you are buying properties, it can take months to go through solicitors and mortgage brokers. So while you know doing you know HMOs or service accommodation, you know buying those properties can be really great for your monthly cash flow, and they're also great for building wealth in the long term because you now you own this asset that is going to appreciate over time, and you'll get that kind of equity value as well. If you want to get started now, and you need money now, and you don't have enough money for deposits or maybe you only have enough money for one deposit then rent to rent is something you need to look at if you need more cash flow because you'll get up and running more quickly you don't need as much of a deposit or as much money in advance as you do when you're doing you know traditional buy to let um it's i i like to see it it's not like it's an easy strategy but I like to see it as a really good starter strategy so that you can get to understand the market. Now, I definitely think you need to understand landlord tenant law. You need to understand health and safety and fire safety before you just jump in and practice on your first property. So I'm a big proponent of training courses. I've taken so many training courses. I love online training courses. I've joined the NLA RLA and done their online training programs that have loads of health and safety and fire safety and landlord tenant law information. So you got an opportunity to get that knowledge ahead of time, but then use that first rent to rent deal or those first couple deals to make sure you actually really like investing in property. Do you like managing tenants or with service combination? Do you like managing guests? Do you like you know building this type of a business? Because if you've bought those couple properties and then you all of a sudden realize, oh my God, I hate tenants. I never want to see another tenant for the rest of my life. Now you own that property and you're kind of stuck with it. Whereas if you do rent to rent, you've got more flexibility. You can hand that property back. So really be thinking about what you want. So what are your goals? What are your five-year goals, your 12-month goals, your three-month goals, your one-month goals? And which strategy lines up with them? And it doesn't have to be the same strategy all the way along. When I got started in my business, I chose rent to rent as my stage one strategy. So my goal was to get 100,000 pounds of income per annum from rent to rent, and then move on to stage two, which was to start to buy properties and own those properties for the long term to really start generating the wealth from property investing. So you need to look at what works for you and your specific situation. If you aren't looking for cash flow right now, if you love your job and really you're looking to, you know, build build a pot for your pension, rent to rent probably isn't the perfect strategy for you. 
you're going to be wanting to look at more buy and hold properties that are going to appreciate in value over the long term and give you a decent rental income in the middle. So really think about what your strategy is, what you need to do. Again, rent to rent can be a great thing to start. So maybe you need to build up some cash so that you have enough for a deposit. You do a few rent to rents, you get that money coming in. Maybe you're still working your day job. You set that rent to rent income aside, let it grow in a pot, and then you start investing and you can buy properties. Maybe deal sourcing is a better way for you to go and start earning that money because then you're not managing tenants. You're just finding the deals, selling the deals, building that pot of cash, and then buying properties. It really does depend on what you need to do in your future and also where you're at now. So I would have loved to start buying properties from day one. I, you know, probably had enough deposit between, you know, joint venture partners that I could pull together and myself to get one, one HMO deal. But then my money would have been gone. That wasn't, you know, 500 to 1,000 pounds a month profit from an HMO deal. Yeah, it would have been great, but it wasn't enough for me to be able to completely quit my job and be financially free. I also didn't have the credibility to raise more financing from joint venture partners, from, rent, uh, from mortgage companies. So we talked a little bit about financing last, last week. Um, I didn't have the credibility to get that much more financing. And even though my partner could get mortgages, he had no residential mortgage, we had no property experience. And a lot of times, especially with HMOs, lenders are looking for you to already have landlord experience or at a very minimum, already have a mortgage for a residential property so that they can see that you're responsible for paying a mortgage. We had none of that. We had no property experience. So when I talked to investors, they were like, why should we give you our money? How do we know that you're gonna be able to do this? So that's why I had to get into rent to rent because I didn't need all that money up front. I didn't need those joint venture partners to do the first few deals. I was able to do those first few deals and then go back to the joint venture partners and say, look, I know what I'm doing. I can prove it. I've got the properties. I've got the track record. Now let's look at investing together. So really look at what your situation is. What you need the money for is rent to rent right for you right now. And then again, maybe you only do it for 12 months, 24 months and move on to the next strategy and the next strategy and the next strategy. You don't have to do it forever but make sure it's right for you right now. And focus, focus on one strategy at a time so that you can make sure you've got all your attention on it, you're building that business up properly, that income stream up properly, so that it's all set up and systemized, and then you can move on to the next strategy, and the next strategy, and the next strategy, and the next strategy. That's my biggest recommendation for you, is to really look at where you want to be, what your goals are, and line it up with which strategy matches that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you're back next week and I've got more awesome information for you and I will see you then.